Is Google Analytics not working for your Shopify store? Have you already followed my Google Analytics for Shopify tutorial video? Well, you probably landed on this video because of Google Analytics 4. This is a new change from Google and it is going to revolutionize the way you measure your business. But you're stumped because you can't install Google Analytics. I'm going to show you how to install the new Google Analytics onto your Shopify store and also explain what it means. So let's go in and I'll demonstrate this on one of my clients. All right, so you just have a new Shopify store and you want to install Google Analytics. You follow the guide and you can't install it. So on the installation page, you're probably over here copying this code. It begins with a G. This is going to be the new Google Analytics 4. You're going to go ahead and try to save that and you'll see this issue you need to post a UA code. So what gives? When you're inside of Google Analytics, you're going to see this layout. And this is going to be Google Analytics 4. It is a new feature and Google is forcing users to move over to Google Analytics 4. There's a little trick here because when you're creating a new account, you have to go ahead and set it up as Google Analytics 4. So how do you get Google Analytics 3 to work and when is Shopify going to support Google Analytics 4? So when you're in the back end here, you're going to see your property and how it's all set up and you have a little setup assistant. So when you do have Google Analytics 4 set up, you'll get your tracking code from here, but this is not where you want to go. There's a couple of things to take note. So let's upgrade to Google Analytics 4 and how to install it for Shopify. So what's the difference between Google Analytics 3 and Google Analytics 4? It has machine learning built into your data. It's the default experience for new properties. Future proofing your measurement in a post cookie world. Deeper integration of Google ads to targeted audiences. GA4 will be the hub of your marketing and in app experiences anywhere on Google. You'll have to redo all of your events, e-commerce and custom tracking. So Shopify right now doesn't support Google Analytics 4, but when it does, it's going to be incredible. GA4 has more enhanced engagement tracking metrics. There's also automatic and enhanced measurement events. So page views, user interactions, scroll, click, video start, video complete, the first session, the first visit, a share, a file download, video progress if people are watching your videos, and view search results. These are all going to be a part of the automatic and some enhanced measurement. Now, e-commerce events, they're not going to change too much, but the way Google Analytics 4 is going to use it will be a little different. So you'll have generated leads, view items, remit from cart, begin checkout, viewing items, add to cart, view cart, purchase, and refund. And these are all things present in Google Analytics 3, but it takes advantage of the machine learning to help you predict your sales and marketing growth. And there's also a new one, which has game events, where it's including earning virtual currency, starting levels, tutorials, joining groups, level, and tutorial complete, and then achievement unlocked because of experiences more on the mobile side of things and entertainment measurement analytics. So if you already have a G measurement account for Google Analytics 4, what you have to do is create a new property. So this will be your website, your timing, dollars, and when you click down here to show advanced, create universal analytics property. This is going to create a property for Google Analytics 3. Now go ahead and add your website here. And then you can see create both a Google Analytics 4 and universal analytics property. Enable enhanced measurement for Google Analytics for property. This will give you some of that extra measurement juice. Since I already have one, I don't need to do that. But I will in this case because I'm trying to optimize it and delete the old account and create a new analytics account. So now I'm going to select industry. This is going to be a beauty. And I have a lot of different options. So I want to increase my conversions optimize my advertising cost, and 
that should be pretty good in my case because I'm fully e-commerce. Now I went ahead and I've created it and you can see that I have my global tag for G and in this case I don't want this right now because I'm going to have to go into it and you can see I have the breakdown of it here and this is going to be your website and it creates it here and here and I can just install Google Analytics 3. So I'll go back here and I'll open that and I'll have that Google Analytics 4 tracking code. So I can just go into admin and grab the tracking code and you can go ahead and follow the rest of the analytics setup video and you should be good to go. Thank you for watching the Shopify marketing tutorial. Every day we're posting new videos and we're investing hundreds of thousands of dollars to make content exclusively for you. So be sure to subscribe and share this on your social networks and let the word out. The best marketing content is found on Zima Media.